Welcome back to my channel, Latin Language, and we're going to discuss how to find the quartiles for ungrouped data. And in this video, tuturo ko din sa inyo yung interpolation o yung sag pag ang sagot dito ay non-integer, paano natin makukuha yung quartile. So, nasa kalikit na siya ng video or you may check the timestamp na nasa description box below yung mismong time. Okay, so let's start with the first one. First topic natin ay introduction. Ang quartile is a measure of relative standing and mayroon tayong tatlong quartile. The first quartile is in Q sub 1 is the value of x that exceeds one fourth of the measurement and is less than the remaining three fourths. Next one, we have the second quartile or Q sub 2 and it's also called the median. Third quartile naman or also called Q sub 3 three is the value of x that exceeds three-fourths of the measurement n is less than one-fourth. Okay, so we formula na gagamitin natin. So we have this one, q sub i is equal to, so numerator we have i times n plus one, tapos sa ligin mo yung th. Ang th dito hindi siya variable, ito lang yung position. It's like first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay? Uh, divide natin siya sa fourth. You may also see sa textbook, sa ibang textbook, multiply siya ng 0.25. But remember, dividing a number by 4 and multiplying by 0 0.25 ay parehas lang. So I'll explain naman yung mga variables. Yung QI in quartile. At ang I naman, it's either 1, 2, or 3. At ang N will be the number of samples. Okay, so let's have example number 1. Find Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following set of data. So, the mga numbers. So, the first thing you will do is you need to arrange it from lowest to highest. So, that will be 0, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 12, 13, 14, 16, 19, 19. Okay. Next thing we have to do is... Lagi natin yung formula. So, let's start with Q1. So, ang Q1 natin, yan, tinang, pinalitan ko na, yung I ay naging 1. So, yung number of samples, that will be 15. We have 15 numbers there. Kaya 15 siya. Okay. Now, let's solve it. So, 15 plus 1, that will be 16. Times mo ng 1, 16 pa rin. At divide mo ng 4, and you will get an answer of 4. Okay, so dito daw, yung fourth number daw, yung Q1. So, ang fourth number ay 0, 1, 5, 6. So, ang Q1 daw ay 6. Yung nakakulay blue. Next, let's find Q2. So, Q2 is like the median. So, pinatlang ko lang yung sa tabi ng parentheses, that will be 2 na. So, 15 plus 1 is 16. Multiply it by 2, that will be 32. At divide one of four, and you will get eight. So yung eight number down. So the eight number will be ten. Or in a couple Moving on, paano naman yung third quartile or Q3? So palitan ko lang naman yung sa dabi ng parentheses, that will be three. So 15 plus one, that will be 16. Multiply it by three, that will be 48. And divide mo siya ng four, and you will get an answer of 12. So, ang 12 natin dito, that will be 14. So, ito yung summary ng mga answers. So, ang Q1 natin ay 6, ang Q2 ay 10, at ang Q3 natin ay 14. So, let's move on to example number 2. Find Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following set of data. We have 5, 10, 6, 8, 9, 7, 3, 2. So, Dito, we need to arrange it to from lowest to highest. So, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the first thing we will do after we have arranged it from lowest to highest, ay napin na natin na si Q1. So, Q1 natin, that will be well, yung numerator that is 1 times 8 plus 1, tapos yung th over mo ng 4, and you will get 2.25 Okay sir, paano yun? Hindi siya integer, may decimal siya. 
2.25. Anong gagawin natin dito? Dito papasok si interpolation. So dito meron tayong formula na quartile is equal to L plus D. Tapos distributive property na H minus L. Anong L? L will be the lower number. D will be the decimal value at H will be the higher number. Pag niround up mo ng gate. So let's go back to the problem. 2.25. Ang decimal natin dito will be 0.25. At ang lower number will be 3. Kasi ang second number ay 3. Round down mo. At pag niround up mo, that will be 3. Ang third number will be 5. So color coded naman siya para guided kayo. So, ang um, quartal 1 daw will be 3 plus mo ng 0.25 multiplied to the quantity of 5 minus 3. Simplify it, that will be 3.5. So, ito final answer, ito yung quartal 1. Let's move to quartal 2. So, we have quartile 2. Meron tayong sa numerator. We have 2 times the quantity 8 plus 1. Tapos the H. Over mo ng 4. And you will get an answer of 4.5. Pag niround down mo, ang lower number mo ay 4. At ang higher number mo, that will be 5. Okay. So, ang fourth number natin ay 6. At ang higher number natin at 7. So, ang decimal niyan, that will be... That will be 0.5. Okay. So, simplify na natin. Ligin natin yung sa formula. We have 6 plus mo ng 0.5. Tapos, multiply sa quantity 7 minus 6. Ang sagot yan, that will be 6.5. So, ang final answer natin para sa Q2 ay 6.5. So, the quartile 2 dito sa... Example na to, that will be 6.5. Okay, let's move on to quartile 3. So, quartile 3 daw, yan, alam niyo na paano siya kunin. That will be 6.75, tapos th. That's not the final answer. We need to find the exact answer. So, you round down mo ang 6.75, that will be 6. At, the, at round up mo, that will be 7. Ang 6 number mo, that will be 8. Pang ani mo. At ang pang pito mo, that will be 9. So, laging mo siya sa formula. And you will get an answer of 8.75. And yung summary ng answer, so ang quartile 1 natin dito sa problem na to, Q1 natin at 3.5. At ang Q2, that will be 6.5. And ang Q3, that will be 8.75. And that is the end of the lesson on how to find the quartiles for ungrouped data. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or to may assignment you, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para abidit kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. I'll see you again. Goodbye.